Gay voters take pride in Pete Buttigieg's candidacy, but many question whether he can win. Provincetown, Massachusetts When same-sex ma the pair were there again Friday, amazed to be attending a rally for the first serious gay presidential candidate. I Win or lose in the 2020 presidential race, Pete Buttigieg, the 37-year-old mayor of South Bend, industry, is energizing LGBTQ Americans. With his surprising, mayor, Buttigieg does not put his sexual orientation at the center of his campaign, but he is not hiding it either. In recent weeks, when he traveled to Provincetown for a campaign event and fundraiser Friday, Buttigieg and his husband, Jason, received a hero's welcome from a town that, after the 2010 census, had the highest proportion of same-sex couples in the country. It was a long way from Iowa, where Buttigieg was heckled by anti-gay activists this year. In P-Town, it Buttigieg and his husband have become the most high-profile gay male couple in America. Images of the pair, asked about potential backlash, Buttigieg cites his experience coming out as gay in the conservative state of Indiana in 2015 just before running for re-election as South Bend mayor. I But that could be a risky political bet in a campaign against President Donald Trump. Many of Trump's homophobia Rufus Gifford, a gay former Obama administration official, who admires Buttigieg but has not committed to him or any other candidate, says I. Still, the response to Buttigieg's candidacy is a remarkable sign of one of the fastest shifts in public attitudes ever measured in the U.S. The growth in acceptance of homosexuality to the point that, at least among Democratic primary voters, Buttigieg's orientation has ended up a political asset, not a liability. Some 61% of Americans support same-sex marriage double the share in 2004, when only 31% did, according to the Pew Research Center. Even within the Democratic Party, in 2008, none of the leading presidential candidates supported gay marriage. The ban on gays sir, I. Buttigieg often appears with his husband. With an active social when the pair emerged from a black SUV for a June Victory Fund event in Brooklyn, attendees seemed almost as excited to see the spouse as the candidate. The event, like the Provincetown visit, was a respite for Buttigieg, who has been battered by criticism for his handling of racial tensions in South Bend after a black man was shot by a white policeman. The fund's endorsement, it was rescheduled to a propitious day, the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Uprising, a landmark in the history of the LGBTQ rights movement that occurred after police raided a gay bar in New York City. We Buttigieg rose implausibly fast in the party's big 2020 presidential field in part because he is gay. That fact helped Los Angeles political consultant David Wolf said Buttigieg has received significant fundraising support from Hollywood's LGBTQ community, including TV producer Ryan Murphy and prominent agents Brian Loward and Kevin Hubane. Buttigieg added to his coffers Friday at the Provincetown fundraiser organized by Brian Raffanelli, a major Democratic donor who also hosted a Buttigieg event this year at Fenway Park in Boston. For many Democrats, gay and straight Buttigieg's biggest liability is not his sexuality, but that he is too young, too inexperienced, or not liberal enough. I am. Anti-gay sentiment is still a powerful force. There are only 20, nor does Buttigieg have a monopoly on LGBTQ voters. Former Vice Pres A group of 47 LGBTQ activists and elected officials announced their endorsements of Harris last weekend ahead of her participation in the city's Pride Parade. A June poll of LGBTQ voters by Whitman Insight Strategies and BuzzFeed News found a noteworthy gender gap. Buttigieg was the top among lesbians, however, Buttigieg was fifth choice with just 13% saying they'd likely support him, behind Harris, Biden and Senators.
Bernie Sanders of, some lesbians are torn between their interest in Buttigieg and a desire to elect a female president. But Kate Wise, we. Whether he wins the party nomination and goes on to the White House, gay activists hope Buttigieg will help inspire other LGBTQ candidates running up and down the ballot. He. Los Angeles Times staff writer Tina Dong contributed to this report. Visit the Los Angeles Times at